island right there. It probably, <laughs> I mean, everything we've dealt with so far with trespassers and stealing cameras and everything, I would not doubt that somebody uses that little chair in their backyard. <laughs> Pops them white tail. Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Y'all have been asking about the camera situation. Uh, just got some info, we'll talk about that here later, but we're at a new potential deer spot. Um, I think it'll be decent, hopefully. I know down there it is. Yeah. First time walking in on this, so we're gonna put our nose to the ground, see if we can find a good spot. Oh yeah, that is a big one. Let's see. See how far she goes here to the property line. Uh, ooh, that's a bad spider web. About right there. Yeah, back in here, this is all his property. Well, we found a spot. Ish. Just gonna get some corn on the ground with a camera. See lots of tracks. So there's gotta be. It's definitely deer rolling through here. If they're big or not, who knows? Yes, uh, yeah, you still got a little, another five, 10 yards probably. That's a good tree. Yeah, tree stand right here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I bet he goes to the edge of that then. Oh, oh, no. oh no. There's on my hand. <laughs> Good to go. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna try it right here. So yeah, back to the trespassers. More trespassers, a uh, different spot. I put up a surveillance trail cam to see who in the hell, what all trucks were going in and out of our spot. They've been driving in, making a darn dirt road highway on the edge of our tree row at a whole different spot. Um, they do not have permission. Got two pictures of two different trucks and uh, went to the landowner and they knew who one was. Um, he had permission to fish. Uh, the other one they do not know. Again, guys, you got to call. You got to call all the time. Get permission. And especially if it's leased and you know it's leased, you better call before you go in there because it's getting bad. I put up signs, no trespassing. I'm going to put up camera surveillance signs so that way um, if, if, if you, the law has to start getting involved they have to start getting involved it gets old we haven't had a lot of good luck with cameras and people and people doing what they want I've lost two two cameras got one back which we'll go and yeah he has the other one too I guarantee well yeah that bad boy's in Texas somewhere probably sold it on the black market needing some money uh but yeah we got the one back uh i'll fire up the camera when we go get it later um gonna sit it somewhere else gonna go buy a cheap just sd card camera put back as surveillance so i'll tell you the whole story here in a little bit yeah it's quite i mean it's not, it's not all gone it's been um, yeah, they hammered the heck out of it. I put a bunch out here. Um, it's been, I don't know, four days-ish, three days since I corned it last. All right, this deer stand, how is it looking? So this deer stand is from the old uh, leasee. Another guy has leased this for a bunch of years. He didn't want it this year. Got a lot of traffic coming in and out right here. Um, and I just asked him, I was like, hey, can I just buy your tree stand that you have up so you don't have to go in there and spook all my deer? And he said, yep. So here she is. Oh, that's a good strap. Straps, oh, that's a new strap. Straps look pretty new. That's a tall dude. You all know me, I, I'm not a tree stand guy. That's gonna be a new world. I've only hunted out of a tree stand a couple of times. He's got a tagline and everything to yank your bow up and dude it's completely set up. That's nice. Yeah. Huh? You cut this 
swim. Uh-huh. Yeah, that'll be the next move. Bring your old pole saw out. Yeah. Ooh, this One guy. There. This bad guy is wet. Yeah. Pulling into the property ah, where the most recent camera got stolen. I uh, went to the Chiefs game while I was there, actually the next day, which would have been yesterday morning at 7.30 a.m. The landowner here gave me a call. Uh, I was like, oop, I better answer that. And sure enough, he was like, hey, Bobby, good news. I got your solar charger battery and your camera back. And I was like, oh. How'd that go, you know? Long story short, I knew, I knew who did it. Uh, it was someone that does have access to the property, uh, but obviously doesn't want to abide by the rules. Long story short, uh, he went and asked for the camera back. Um, I don't know the entire conversation. Basically stated, hey, if it's not yours, don't touch it. Um, this property is leased for hunting yada 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 i'm pulling up now i'm gonna grab my camera see what he says and i'll be with you here in two seconds got you on the phone you'll know why in a minute hopefully it's good news <laughs> just wait okay thank goodness thank goodness all righty that's good news Well, my camera's still there. I'm gonna stand in front of it, and make sure it takes a photo of me. What a day! Oh. Huh. Well, it is later in the day. Uh, let's just go through what has all happened today. So, number one, uh, when we kicked off the video, Gerald and I sat a new camera on the way in. I filmed that little chair sitting there by the edge of the field on that tree. Didn't think anything of it. We found our spot, scouted the area, put corn the camera up like y'all I'm pretty sure seen. On the way out, we were coming back by that solo chair by, by the tree. And an, an older lady, she was nice, uh, came walking out to us. She was on the phone. I'm like, ooh, you know, I hope she doesn't think something bad here. She walks right up to us and, and I'm like, how you doing? You know, and she was like, oh, good. Can I help you? And I'm like, uh, I lease all of this farmer's ground. Uh, we just are scouting some deer down there. And she was like, oh, I thought the devil let out the demons and they were coming in here to find the goats or something. I was like, what? Anyways, she started, I was like, oh, no, no, and we laughed it off. I didn't know what to think of it. Um, <laughs> let me get my bearings. And then she started to just walk down the tree row directly to where my camera is, like just taking off. It's like it's another quarter mile uh, down from her house, right? Uh, uh, way far away from it, her house. Number one, um, I do have a lot of deer spots that have red residencies uh nearby within a quarter or a half mile uh all of my spots are not rifle spots they are archery only let's just get that out of the way so we kind of watched her we pulled down uh to the half mile line and watched her and she was just trucking all the way i'm like well we're gonna see her on our camera if she gets that far hopefully she don't hate us already and steal it <sighs> then i filmed it it was still there thank goodness but there was no foot tracks down that tree row uh, when we first walked in, I, you know, I don't know why she was, it's just like people in deer hunting and cameras and stuff. I don't know if they're just like protective. I don't know, but uh, to move forward in the day, uh, I am at a new deer lease that I literally just got. So I'm going to put my camera that was stolen out there. I went to pick up the cameras from the landowner, his wife, actually, she is so nice. Thank you so much. Um, and she handed me my stuff and check it out i got my solar battery and panel back i got one muddy camera but two yeah 
like I was stating in the initial video when all this happened, seven, probably six, seven months ago, uh, this one got stolen. I thought it was down in Texas. That's where it shows the location. Uh, no, it was actually in the dude's truck or car the whole time. Uh, so he held on to it for me. I was surprised to get the other one. Thank goodness I did. Um, all the batteries were out of them. The SD cards were out of them. Whatever. Uh, but I got all my stuff back. And it didn't take the law to get involved. Um, this guy, you know, these, these landowners know this guy. He's just old and, I don't know, a little bit crazy, I guess, or what. I don't know. I don't want to talk bad on the gentleman. He is, he is older and stuff and ex-military and on medication and whatnot. I don't know. I hope he is well and doing well, number one. But a ton of you down in the comments on the last video were like, you need to get the law involved, Bobby. He needs to be, um, he needs to be held, you know, he needs to be held liable for this, you know. Thieves suck. I get it. Thieves do suck. Um, thank goodness he didn't go sell them right away. He actually, I, I don't know. I think he might have thought someone was spying on him back there. I don't know. I don't know, you know, I, I don't know, but I handled it right without getting too squirrely or been out of shape and possibly ruining a relationship for myself with that landowner, just ha handling it like a gentleman um, and uh, staying calm and collected and just and being patient and letting the process play out no matter which way it went. You know what I mean? But huh, we got the electric bicycle. We got two buckets of corn we finally got my camera back i'm at the new deer lease i'm gonna go set this bad boy up before it gets any hotter out well believe me believe me i know today's video was not action-packed um a little stressful to be honest i just got back in town from the chiefs game and i was like hey today's the day i'm gonna go uh go see what all's going on and <laughs> Oh man, I, I thought I thought waterfowl was dramatic, man. Um, uh, as far as uh, the trespassing action going on right now, uh, that is at a different spot. I don't want to show the pictures of the other trucks. Uh, we've got it tamed down. We got a hold of one guy. Uh, wasn't his fault. He's always he's actually a family member of the landowner, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but the other one, they don't know who he is, and. Uh, the landowner said, well, do you have an active cell camera out there uh, watching the traffic in and out? I'm like, yeah. He was like, well, first off, you should put a sign at the entrance that says under camera surveillance. You know, I already have private, private property sign, leased, no hunting signs everywhere. He was like, you need to put that out there if you don't mind. I'm like, yep, I will. Um, and then he said, if you ever see him go in there on your camera and they're in there, call me. He's only two minutes away. He said, I will burn over there real quick, roll up on him, and tell him to get out and never come back. He said, that's really what needs to happen, Bob. He said, I've dealt with this kind of stuff around here a long time, and that is the only way to get them to never come back and get it through their head without getting the law involved and all that. There's uh, Sometimes there's a point to get the law involved if it's if it's just bad and, and you, there's zero excuses and yada 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 I, i'm glad i just had patience on this and on every hunt video or anything at the end i always talk about what i learned or what i took from that hunt or today and, and today it's all about patience um guys when you lease something uh when you have permission maybe you don't pay any money for it maybe you just have permission from the farmer or landowner you need to treat them like family and show them respect constantly. Um, just because I pay to hunt there and I've spent a lot of money to hunt it over the last three and four years doesn't give me the right to be an a-hole and, and just be mad at the world and de demanding because that's not going to get me anywhere. It's not going to get me anywhere real quick. So um, patience, show appreciation, show respect. Respect others' property, uh, hunting leases, land deer geese ducks whatever turkey get along out here let's keep it clean thank you all for being here go check out the podcast a couple new episodes dropping very soon i am giving away a two-man hunt here at sandhill flyways uh don't miss that uh all you gotta do uh to have a chance to uh come here for that three-day hunt in january we're picking it at the end of this month but you'll come in january all you gotta do 
is join the podcast. It's always linked down below. Thank you all for being here, but until next time.